This is the UC Davis Health Informatics Minute. I'm Dr. Esty Garrity. Be careful what you wish for, because it might come true. If you're like me, for years you've been wishing for more data. It seems like just yesterday that I was fascinated by a one gigabyte flash drive and all of the information it could hold. But now we're in the age of big data, and we're talking really big data. In 2012, big data sizes were ranging from a few dozen terabytes to petabytes in a single data set. Data sources are all around us. They include stored email, text, or cell phone traffic, social network chatter, satellites, and ground sense data on all aspects of the weather and overall climate. In health, we have massive data sets in genomics, digital imaging, and our electronic medical records. So now that we've got our wish, what are we going to do with it? Well, there are several challenges inherent in data sets that are that large and complex. They're difficult to process with current database management tools. And imagine how hard it would be to try to share these kinds of data sets. It's been said that working with big data requires massively parallel software running on tens, hundreds, or even thousands of servers. So even large institutions are going to have trouble maintaining computational infrastructures that can accommodate this kind of data processing. One promising solution to address this challenge is cloud computing, which takes advantage of dynamically allocated computing resources over the Internet. For you to be a part of the big data revolution, you need to develop skills in data management and interoperability. You should learn about Hadoop, a free and open source framework for storing and processing massive amounts of data, and attend other vendor-based training opportunities. And importantly, you should cultivate your team working skills, because you will be working side by side with computer scientists, mathematicians, and statisticians to name a few. So is big data worth the effort? Absolutely. The richness of big data will provide new opportunities for better understanding of phenomena like global spatial and temporal patterns of disease. We can then relate these patterns to their causes and thereby influence global health and environmental policies. And at the individual level, real-time big data analysis will facilitate higher quality, ultra-personalized care when knowledge of your genome guides therapy or when your doctor can see what you bought at the grocery store. It's a whole new world, and that's the big deal about big data. That's my opinion. I'm Dr. Esty Garrity.